Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making this gorgeous English Garden Granny Square. This English Garden Granny Square goes with the Bloomscape Cal. It is just the solid block without a flower center and of course can be made in any color and any size. You can finish on any of these solid rows and it'll match any granny square. So you could just hook them up together. And if you are finishing it as the Bloomscape Cal, you wanna finish on the chain and single crochet row. So whichever way you wanna finish your granny square is totally fine. And yes, if you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, they're available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. For my English Garden Granny Square, I'm going to be using Saver from Ice Yarns. It is a size 4 worsted weight acrylic yarn. I'm also using a 6 millimeter crochet hook, and you will also need a pair of scissors. So let's get started. start by making a slip knot any which way you normally do. Just shrink that down and pop it onto your hook and chain three. One, two, and three. Now into our very first chain. To count your chains, you don't count what is on your hook. We just count these little V's going down. So one, two, three. We're going to go into this very first chain right there. So pop your hook in, get your tail, we want to be holding our tail along with our work, forming a little U shape underneath the fat part of our hook, just there, holding it open with your finger and thumb, and slip stitching to form a ring. And chain three, one, two, and three. Wrap your yarn and into that center where we're holding it open, two double crochets. So there is one and two. Our chain counts as our first double crochet, so that counts as a set of three. And chain two, one, two, wrap your yarn and three more double crochets into the center of that ring. And we're working over our tail. We're just holding our tail along with our ring so we can work over it. So there is two and three. Chain two, one and two, and into the center of your ring, three more double crochets. One, two, and three. You can pinch your ring and grab your stitches and just slide your stitches back to give yourself some more room. We want all of our double crochets laying down nice and flat side by side on the center of this ring. Chain two, one and two, and three more double crochets into the center of your ring going over your tail. So one, two, and three. And to join, we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet to join. So right into the top of this chain three, right there, we want two strands of that chain on the top of our hook. So just slide your hook in, two strands on top, and one single crochet to join. And just hold that corner open with your finger for your single crochet. So that leaves us right in the middle of our corner. And that finishes round one. So that leaves us right in the middle of our corner. It'll hide our join and chain three. One, two, and three, and turn your work. Now into our next corner space, we're going to do one single crochet, chain three, one, two, and three, 
and one single crochet into that same corner space. One single crochet. Chain two, one and two, and into our next corner, we're gonna do single crochet, chain three and single crochet. So single crochet, chain three, and one single crochet into that same corner space. Chain two, and into the next corner space, we're gonna do a corner. So single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and one more single crochet into that same space chain two, and now we're back where we started into that same corner space where we began. So we're gonna start our corner, so one single crochet. And now we're just gonna chain two, one and two, and we're gonna single crochet to join. So if you pull up that first chain we made, we're gonna just go in to the bottom of it. Doesn't totally matter where, somewhere right in there and we're gonna single crochet to join. We'll pop your hook in, single crochet to join, and that finishes round two. Are you enjoying this tutorial? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more quick and easy fun tutorials just like this. To start round three, chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. And keep an eye on that corner space as you turn your work. We don't wanna lose it, just into that chain space right there. We're gonna start our corner, so two double crochets. One, and two, and that counts as our first corner. You can go ahead and pop a stitch marker into that corner space, just into the bottom there, just so we know where that is when we're working our way around. Into this next space here along the side, three double crochets. One, two, and three, and into the corner space, three double crochets, one, two, and three, chain two, one, and two. You can slide those stitches back if you need some more room, and three more double crochets into that same corner space. There's two, and here is three. Into the space along the side, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into your corner space, we're gonna do a corner. So corners for this round, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets, all into the same corner space. So wrap your yarn and three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, and two and three more double crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. So now you can pause the video and work ahead. Three double crochets into the space along the side. Corners, three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets, and three double crochets into the space along the side. And I'll meet you when we get back to our stitch marker. Have you subscribed to this channel? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now. When you get back to your stitch marker, that's just marking where we're gonna finish our corner. You can take that stitch marker out. And into this corner space, three double crochets. One, 
two, and three. Chain one, and into the top of your chain three, we're gonna join with a single crochet. So one single crochet to join, and just wiggle your fingers into that corner space to keep track of it. So single crochet to join. Chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. Into this next space right over here, one single crochet. Chain two, into the next space, one single crochet. Chain two, and into the next space, that's our corner. So we're gonna do one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and one single crochet. So those are our corners for this round. Chain two along the sides with a single crochet into the space. So that's a chain two, skip over and single crochet. Chain two, and then we're in our corner. Corners, one single crochet, chain three, and one single crochet. Chain two, one and two, and into the space, one single crochet. Chain two, into the next space, one single crochet. Chain two, and into the next space, a corner. So one single crochet, chain three, and one single crochet into the same corner space. And of course, pause the video if I'm going too quick or slow me down in the settings under the video. Chain two, one, two, into the space, one single crochet. Chain two, into the space, one single crochet, chain two, and into the space where we started, one single crochet. And I'm gonna be continuing, so I'm gonna join with a chain two, one, two, and a single crochet into the bottom of that starting chain to join. So I'm gonna make my single crochet anywhere in this area just into the bottom of that stitch. We wanna make sure we have more than one strand of yarn on the top. That's the important bit. So just into the bottom of that chain. One single crochet to join, keeping track of that corner. And chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work and into that corner space, two double crochets. One and two. And you can go ahead and pop a stitch marker into that corner space, just so you know where we are starting. Sometimes if you don't do a stitch marker or if you're new to crochet, you can just zoom right over and then you lose this corner here. So that's why we put a stitch marker there, but you don't have to if you recognize your stitches. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into each space along the side, three double crochets into each. So each space along the side, three double crochets for this round. There's three and three into the next space. One, two, and three. And into the next space, three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets, because that is our corner. So every corner is gonna get a corner, just like this for our double crochet round. So three double crochets, one, two, 
and three, chain two. You can slide those stitches back if you need more room and three more double crochets into that same corner space. Two and three. So we're just repeating these two rows over and over until our granny square is the size we want it to be. So you can pause the video and keep working along. Three double crochets into each space along the sides and into the corners, three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started, you can just pop that stitch marker out <laughs> and into this same space where we began. We're gonna do our three double crochets. One. Two. And three. So you can make your granny square any size you like just by repeating those two rows. If you are making it for the Bloomscape Cal, finish with that row. If you are making it to join with a granny square or other granny squares, you will end just on this row we have here, just so we can always join our granny squares into these spaces or however you're joining up your granny squares. So to join and continue, chain one and single crochet to join if you're going to continue. Do your chain three, one, two, three, turn your work and into the next space, your single crochet. And then just keep going all the way around for that row. You are going to join and end so you are joining up and you're finished with this color or you're finished with your granny square do a chain two one and two and slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join one little slip stitch and chain one to secure your yarn cut your yarn leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure Sew in your tail and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.